What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to load samples into the sampler player in DJ Pro on the Mac and I assume this would probably be the same or very similar on Windows um, but I'm going according to instructions for doing it on a Mac. And I'll do another video for doing it on the iPad and the iPhone but it shouldn't be too different. So here we are at the main screen and you see um, right now I don't have any sample decks showing. So in order to show the sampler, you have to use this icon up here in the top corner. When you hover above it, it says sampler slash looper. And that's how you can open up the sampler and the looper. We're gonna be focusing on the sampler. So I'll click that button. And now you see the sample slots have shown up right here. And there are 16 sample slots, eight per deck. And unlike on Serato, where you would only have eight sample slots until you move to a different bank, and the sample slots would be the same on deck A as they are on deck B, on here you have 16 sample slots and they, can, they will be different. Deck A will not have necessarily have to have the same as that are on deck B. But in my case, I'm so used to Serato, so you will notice here on these eight sound or sample slots, they are identical to what's here on the right. So that's what it looks like. So as you can see here, I have 16 slots loaded. I have eight on this side, eight on that side. They are identical on both decks. Now to edit your samples, you have to go over to the right and you click this pencil icon and that allows you to well when you click on it you see the three dots show up next to each sample slot when you click on those three dots that brings you into the sample manager now right now because i happen to be having samples loaded in that are already from my sample pack you see that my sample pack is chosen when you first click on it it's going to show you essentials essentials are the sound packs you can download that have like hip hop samples, house, techno, different kind of genres, but it's usually more like musical notes or one hits or sounds like a 808 hit or a snare drum or a hi hat or something like that. What we want to do is use our own pre recorded samples. So, in order to do that, you have to go to the sample manager, which is what this is. The screen right here is the sample manager and you have to go into My Samples. Now My Samples pulls its information from a folder or a location on your computer where you want to store your samples. For me, what I ended up doing was I created a folder called Logic Drops and I happened to create this folder in my iTunes media folder and that's because it's a place where I won't accidentally delete anything or if I do add anything, it will be intentional. So I keep all my samples that I want to use. I may not have them actively loaded into the sampler, but if I want to move samples in and out, they have to be in one location. So I keep them in this folder right here. This folder you can see has a handful of samples and sounds. So if we go back into DJ Pro in the sample manager, those sounds are right there. Those same ones in that folder are what's showing up. Well, let me take that back. I've added these. Before they show up in this My Samples folder, you have to add them. So there are some that are not showing up yet because I just added them before I started this video. Examples would be, let's see, Damn Son, this Outcast, Throw Your Hands Up. And I think there was a third one I added. Um, but we'll work with these right now. So we'll take these two sounds and I highlighted multiple sounds by using the command button and clicking on different sounds. So now I'm going to import them into the My Samples folder. So now you see that sample is there. And what's really cool about this um, sample manager is you can actually preview them before you load them. So sometimes you might not know what the sample is and you want to hear it. Like my uh, laser sounds, they're all over the place. So it's always good to be able to preview them before you load them up. 
So now, in order to load them up, you just have to highlight what you want to load, turn to blue, and you'll see that right there now has that damn sun uh, sample loaded into that slot. And if I went down to the three dots over here, I can choose to add explosions with rumble, and now it shows up there. So what you have to do is click the three dots, make sure my samples is highlighted, Highlight the sample you want to change it to. It changes there, and that's it. If you click away from that window, the window will go away, and now you'll have your sample loaded, and you'll be able to trigger them with your controller, mixer, or within the app. Now, I mentioned before that I'm used to it on Serato, where your sample decks are the same on the left and right, but with DJ Pro, you have the option of making everything different, each deck different, but I like to keep it the same on both. So I'm going to go back and change, let's see, this logic drop is already up there, so it should be the siren. So I'm going to click up here and go to siren. And you may also notice that these samples are listed in alphabetical order, which is very helpful. Then for this one, I'm going to match it up with sample scratch right there. And I think that's it. Oh, damn sun should be remix. So I'm going to change that to remix. But as you can see, I'm able to quickly switch them out. Once you get your samples loaded into one central folder and you have them imported into the uh, my samples folder using the manager then you're able to just select what samples you want to bring in and bring out with no problem now it may react differently depending on what controller you're using but i know on the rain 70 when i hit the uh, samples um, button to go into samples mode it pulls up um, the sampler for each deck, whatever deck I'm pressing it on. So it's not like I hit sampler and both deck samples, both decks go into sample mode. Only the deck that you choose will go into sample mode and those samples will show up. So that was a quick tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. I've had some uh, requests for uh, information on how to load your samples. So let's just review real quick. Remember to put all your samples into one particular folder that you're going to use as your repository for your samples. Then you go into DJ Pro. You use this button up here to toggle your samples from showing or not being shown. And then you click the blue pencil to go into editing mode. The three dots allow you to choose what samples you want to use. You want to use my samples. And when you're in my samples, you can import the samples from that folder you created using this plus symbol and you can remove samples by clicking the minus symbol and you have to click on each slot that you're trying to change and once you just highlight it blue that will be the sample that is loaded into that slot very quick very easy and the samples stay there once you close it and reopen the program they still will be there ready for you to use Hopefully this was helpful, and if you like what you saw and you want to learn more, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and even comment. I'm sure there's more than one way to do this, but this was the easiest way that I found, and um, this is also the way it is mentioned in the manual. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you for the next video.